Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's going to be time for some Europa Universe Sauce for as Persia with the Creative Civilization expansion. We are now Persia. So, I was trying to. <clears throat> I was trying to take a look at the Persian ideas and the Carcoin Lu ideas. And I've decided just for the sake of this campaign, because we started out as a Carcoin Lu, we're actually going to keep the Carcoin Lu ideas. The Persian ideas are not bad. You actually get like land morale. You get some cavalry combat ability. Um, you get some like taxes, manpower cover speed, but it's less than what the Car Coin Lu gives you. You get national manpower modifier, but it's also less than what the Car Coin Lu idea gives you. They don't give you any sort of pips at all. You get no pips whatsoever from anything. So I decided we're just going to stick with the Car Coin Lu ideas. Might as well. We have a new government form apparently because we have a, a feudal theocracy government now. And we're an empire, so we get plus one missionary, missionary strength, tolerance to the true faith. We also do get um, some special abilities. We can seize clerical holdings, we get construction costs, we can invite minorities from abroad, we get local development costs in the capital area. Cool. And we can sanction holy war, which gives us claims on all neighboring provinces currently owned by neutral or enemy heretics or heathens. So basically it's like a free... Uh, yeah, basically like a free kind of like... I guess like holy war CB. Or something cool so I'm not gonna use any of these right now <clears throat> speaking of conversions we need to get our stability up uh, which means we need to probably focus on admin for just a smidge for a little while let's see let's go to the Lima can I make um, a demand for support can I see the support of the clergy yeah give me admin and um Grand Monopoly Charters, that's for contribution. We could do that too, but for now, let's just get our economy in order, because we, we need this. Yeah, we need to get back up to our stability. <clears throat> um, at least we convert at a pretty decent speed, which is kind of cool. We're going to have internal conflicts, apparently. Okay. God, look at that Persian color. Ugh. It's so green. It's so green. It's so green. <clears throat> Take care of yourself, Fritz Reno. Thank you so much for coming by the stream. I appreciate it. It's so green. We're going to stick with legalism. I love legalism. It's really nice. Uh, I could lower some inflation. Hopefully one of these days we can do that. Increase centralization, religious unity. Okay. Oh, wow. That was unfortunate. Okay. <clears throat> So now we're also going to make some states. We're going to make some states when we have some money. Um, we got permanent claims. Oh, I guess we already conquered all the Persia regions. So we don't really get any more permanent claims. We have like some stuff here in Baluchistan and some stuff here in Mazandaran. I thought we'd actually get claims over here, but okay. That's fine. We'll conquer all this eventually. We'll, we'll go up to the Persian or uh, the Persian Indo border. Yeah, eventually at least. Um... Uh, hmm. Oh, our vassals and stuff are pretty loyal. Everybody's cool. And then we're going to make a pretty hard concerted effort to go... Yeah, with Yemen. Oh. Actually, yeah, why don't we, why don't we kill you really fast? <laughs> Fairly large Persian Empire, although we have so much more to do. We have so much more to do. 
Um, the first thing I really need to do is I need to be able to, I, I need to develop my country and get strong enough to beat, um, the Ottomans. That's my, that's my goal. Is Tabriz still our capital? It is. Tabriz is still the capital. I was actually thinking of moving it to Baghdad. Um, I could move it to Tehran if I wanted to. Tehran is dry lands. Local development cost goes up a little bit. Baghdad would be better, actually. You know what? Maybe we will do that. Maybe we will, um... Maybe we'll move the capital to Baghdad. 52 development. Can you guys believe that? Holy crap. Because I don't mind it being in Tabriz, but... Or in, uh, yeah, here it is, Tabriz. It's 18 development, it's Azerbaijan, it's Shia. I wouldn't mind moving it to Baghdad, though, either. Let's give this to a Benny Yas, I guess. Okay. Let's go to rival Transoxiana, I suppose. Um, we're not going to do much else for now. Because what I could do, this is this is kind of what I want to do, is I want to move... Oh, that's right, we have 85% spread here. Because we have this we have this feudal theocracy ability. We can divide minorities from abroad. Your local development cost in your capital area goes down by 20%. One development will be randomly distributed in your capital area, which is the Tabriz area. And then... What I could do is I could turn on an edict and we could develop Tabriz quite a bit for the institution. We're ahead on military and admin by a considerable amount. It's pretty considerable. Why don't we go ahead and do that then? Let's make sure we don't have any other state edicts going on. Okay. Let's see, Cressyon is not flying on Twitch. Thank you so much. Let's come over here. Let's go to this. We're going to take this here. It costs Diplo, I believe, right? Yeah, it does. That's all right, though. And then, yeah, only 43 to develop this place. It's mountains, obviously, which is which kind of sucks, but, you know, whatever. Okay. All right. Let's <clears throat> drill the armies. We're going to eventually integrate Oman sometime in the near future. Not sure when yet. I have a lot of forts. Maybe too many. Hmm. The Ottomans really have not expanded. The Ottomans are strong, but they haven't really expanded as much as I was kind of expecting that they would. Oh, wow. Look at that. A Shia state. Persian Shiaism. For too long, Persia stood divided where foreign invaders have entered our lands. While Pir Budak I is an immensely popular Shahana Shah, a durable state should not be built on personal loyalties alone. Yes, we will forge ahead. We will forge a Shia empire. Papal state called a crusade against the Ottomans. Dude, Hungary is getting wrecked. The doors of Vassal Russia. Unfortunate. 
Let's see, I got a question Twitch chat. What does drilling do? Drilling increases your army's professionalism, which basically gets you land fire damage, shock damage, uh, fire damage received, and shock damage received. At least for the armies. The more veteran your armies are, the better the troops are. And the higher your professionalism, I think it goes up to a maximum of... I think it's 10% shock damage and land fire damage. I think it's 20% siege ability. And then your available mercenaries and mercenary cost goes... Up. As far as I know. It's like, it's, it's a choice between mercenaries and regulars. God. Religious unity plus 20%. No, actually, I'll go for the heretic strength. Having three missionaries is actually pretty nice. <laughs> oh, there we go. We're finally going to get the printing press. Uh, no, I'm on. No, no, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang on to Hormuz. Holy shit. So we don't exactly have to develop into Breeze anymore, but I'll do it anyway. Uh, Sunni Zealots in a Zerum. This general's been alive for a long time. Peribadak Musafar? He's been alive for years. It's like super, super long time. Uh, I can't give the Olima influence. I actually have to reduce it because they're getting a little too influential. Damn it, I can't have any more points. What can I do that? 1577, two years. Okay. The Dimmy. You bastards. Those are, this, that's what our musketeers look like. Check it out. What in the hell? Holy crap. What is happening here? <laughs> Holy shit, dude. There's war exhaustion. Look at that. 16 war exhaustion is giving these guys ridiculous unrest. Whoa. Holy crap. That's crazy. That is nuts. See, I got a question to Twitch chat. Since I have 100 prestige, why not reduce liberty desire in your subjects? Well, in Moretti is not a vassal. He is a uh, personal union. And you cannot use, you cannot placate local rulers in personal unions. You have to, you have to do it by other means. Jesus, 27,000 rebels. Have at it, boys. Holy shit. It's those conversions, man. They're giving us a lot of prestige. I'm trying to get this damn institution already. <clears throat> Because it's like, if I have a good ruler right now, we're super, super um, ahead on tech. I don't really want to be paying this. I'd rather just pour points into development to get this. Excellent work. Excellent. Good. Good. This has already belonged to the troop. Yeah. Just get rid of that. Basra. So we're letting the manpower come back. Our income is actually pretty shit. We're not really making too much money. 
It's all right. It's not great. <clears throat> See, I got a question Twitch chat. Why not annex vassals? Well, I'm going to annex Yaz and Oman pretty soon. Um, but I want to get I want to get Imreti annexed first before we do any of the other guys. Come on. Yeah. And we're going to be annexing this guy in just a second. Shite brain drain. It has now been centuries since there was a strong Shite state in either in Iran or elsewhere. With the birth of our kingdom, an increasing number of Shite theologians, clerics, and all kinds of Shite intelligentsia have come flocking to our borders. This is quite fortunate as there is a, sh a shortage of Shite lawyers, clerics, and officials in our lands. Ooh. Cool. I like the way that sounds. Almost there. Let's go reduce our maintenance for a little while so we can build up a little bit of cash in order to get this um, institution. <clears throat> yeah. Burgers, Renaissance, Capital City, Career Development. Ooh, Iskander Yusuf. Uh, don't need the prestige. Don't need the prestige. Okay. I'm liking the way this is going. Uh, can you guys deal with that? Ah, fine. Damn, we convert super fast. Holy shit. I think we need one more point of development. We should be good to go. Can I forward any better advisors? I like the discipline guy. No, we need we need a little more money before we um before we go like really heavy into advisors. <clears throat> We're not doing too bad right now. It's just Yeah. Russia's going to war with Transoxiana. We're going to launch invasions of Baluchistan and Coruscant here pretty soon. Yeah, every everything that's Persian culture, we just, we're going to have to take over. <clears throat> um, the Improved Relations has helped us out with... Um, damn it. More rebels, I swear. Now we need... Oh, shit! It's not even enough yet. Wow. Damn, I thought our capital would be enough to uh, get the institution. I guess not. <clears throat> we'll have to let it spread for a little while. Then again, I mean, this is like 118% spread rate. It should happen pretty fast. We got a question in Twitch chat. Why have I not gone for trade ideas? I want to, but we're not really, at least for a while, for, for a very, very long time, we were not ahead on Diplotech. Now we are, but for a while I was not. So I will grab, I will grab trade ideas pretty soon. Um, I just picked ad administrative and defensive as ideas just because, just because I wanted to fill up the slots. But perhaps that'll, you know, we'll do something else. 
<clears throat> this guy's a debugging reputation guy. Can I afford him? Wow. Why are we making so much money all of a sudden? What changed? It's a lot of money we're making. Why? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take him. And the discipline guy. We'll give him the discipline guy. That's fine. There's Mookin peasants. <clears throat> Oh, wow, you guys actually dealt with that on your own, huh? Okay. I thought I would have to do it. Cool, good to know. How's our, uh, how's our cultures going? Hmm. Yeah, we should, we should embrace my Shrieky when I have an, when I have a chance. I've got a minute. <clears throat> okay. Slowly but surely, we make progress. <clears throat> we've got a, we've got quite a bit of room in the forge limit now, so that's pretty nice. Um, as soon as we're, we're going to annex this guy, we're also going to annex Oman and Yaz. So I, I really don't have to train troops right now at this very moment because we'll be getting free troops from them. Um, which is good. Do need to save up some money for this institution, but I think honestly, with having full army maintenance, we're actually making about you know seven ducats a month. That's pretty good. So. Uh, oh, it looks like our general died. <clears throat> From a drilling accident. <laughs> I love, I love the game. I love how he does that. Ottoman conquest to Cyprus. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Ottomans, you bastards. Um, 200,000 men for the Ottomans. My god, man. They're so OP. Stupid. Thousand development those guys have. Yeah, once we take over our subject's development, we're going to have actually quite a bit of development on our hands. Thing is, is I need to make these places into states. What's the maximum number of states that I can have? Mm. I'm not sure. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, we'll find out. Based on... <clears throat> Let's keep drilling some troops. Cool, we built some bloody posts. State firearm regiments, land maintenance modifier, but you get army drill gain modifier. I say yes. See, I got a comment in the Twitch chat. <clears throat> when you're drilling, you should lower army morale because you don't have any morale anyway. When you drill, you pay full army maintenance regardless. As you can see here, I can lower this down, but since I'm drilling, you're still paying full army maintenance for your for your armies that, that are being drilled. It doesn't matter if you lower army maintenance or not. I think that's actually that was a pretty good idea on Paradox's part. <clears throat> Makes a lot of sense, actually. Cause it'd be pretty OP if you could drill armies and not have to pay for maintenance at the same time. That's like, that's like pretty OP. Pretty OP. I 
Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. It's not a state, is it? I guess we'll rival back Russia. Little shit. <clears throat> okay. Oh yeah, this is Baghdad, that's right. Economic stimulation? No, we'll, we'll go ahead and just... Hey! When joined the first army, Hassan Ali Mohammed improved his fire skill. Yas. Okay, <clears throat> so we're going to annex our vassals, we're going to launch a few wars into Coruscant. Soon enough, not yet, but soon. For the Shia faith. Balukistan has changed their capital. Oh my lord! Multan, you son of a bitch! Alright, well, why don't we go ahead and kill Balukistan real fast then? Well, actually, you know what? We would we should probably vassalize Balukistan because he's got a lot of... He's got a lot of uh, cores here. So we're going to go to war with the Indians, apparently. And Multan's allied with Khorasan, Transoxian, and Mampur, so we have to go to war with him anyway. You bastards. Fine. Fine. <clears throat> Vassalization will do just fine. Yeah. Vassalization will do just fine. Truce of the Memlux is over. We could declare war on them if I wanted to. I don't really want to, but we could. I mean, I really probably should push up into Arabia, all things considered. So we could vassalize Baluchistan, invade Multan. We're going to destroy Khorasan, too. We have to do that sometime in the future. <clears throat> I, got a good, I got a good question from the Twitch chat. <laughs> this one's going to be funny. Uh, I just started watching like five minutes ago, but since when can Muslims have PUs? They can't. I originally had vassalized Georgia, and Georgia had Imreti as a PU. And so when I vassalized, when I vassalized Georgia, it gave me Imreti as a free PU. I didn't have to pay any points or anything. Holy shit! That's right. We have Persian reinforcement. Reinforced cost minus thirty percent. Whoa. Cool. I forgot about that. Yeah. So that's that's what that whole deal was about. I thought it was pretty funny. So. Because I didn't, I didn't know it would occur that way, but it did. Ah, oh, you bastards. It's gonna be the same deal. Ottomans, I'm not helping you in that war, dude. <clears throat> I'm not helping you in that war. A little shit. Let's see. 
I got a question Twitch chat, so there's no way to inherit them, I guess. Only annex. Yeah, there actually is a chance to inherit. I just, it's not really great. Diplomatic reputation, same culture group, stability, chance to a person inheriting him ready. It's just ten percent. It's really that's that's not a lot at all. I've I've had chances to inherit that are like forty to fifty percent. Then I probably would just wait for inheritance, but yeah, no. <clears throat> ah, fuck. That's right. Uh. Six to oh my god, that's artillery in the front row, dude. What are you doing, Mamlux? Let's see if we can attack that force. That is 24,000 artillery in the front row, man. Holy god. <clears throat> Look at that 23,000 artillery in the front row. What are you doing? What is this guy up to? Dude, he's got 115 discipline. That is pretty impressive. I'm actually going to grab a discipline guy of our own. I swear, Hadramet, get the hell out of here. Treason against Persia. We got corrupted army rolls. Fuck. Fine, I'll take the... Uh, dude, really? We just got this again? God damn it. I just lost 20,000 manpower for nothing. Fuck. <clears throat> we just got that event. Paradox, come on. Bastards. Hey, bitches. Stop being mean to me, game. Intrigues and debris. <clears throat> hmm. eh, our tradition's not great. <clears throat> tradition is not great. Um so I could debase the currency for a 12. I think it's four times in order to get this institution. I'm actually going to do it. And I'll tell you why. Because we at 100% legalism can actually do... We can enforce faithful adherence twice. Basically, we lose the tax, the manpower modifier, and the technology cost. But our, our corruption will go down. Either that or I spend money on it. Well... Actually, a corruption really is not bad. It's not very much. Fuck it. Actually, yeah. Why don't we just go and just, just pay it down? <laughs> actually, I don't really feel like losing our legalism. <clears throat> a corruption actually really is not very much. Let's be fair. It could be much worse than that. Okay, Belugazan will become a vassal of Persia. Belugazan will convert to Shia. Excellent. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh wow, that was that was nice. That was convenient. <clears throat> okay. Cool. We're about to finish up this annexation at Meridian. We're gonna get his free troops. Uh the Ottomans are still dealing with the Mamluks. Apparently he's launching like an invasion of Aragon. That's pretty curious. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh shit, this episode's gonna be really long. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick break here, guys. I will see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching as always. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Maybe check out Patreon. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much.